chapter number 11 the amplifier efficiency for a class B and a class C the, in the class C amplifier we have a clamper circuit at the base terminal and on the collector we have a tank circuit at the top the input signal transistor saturated collector is grounded and capacitor is suddenly charged the transistor goes into cutoff for the rest of one or more cycle and the capacitor and induce inductor trade for the energy and we take the output as usual from the collector now it's very most efficient for all it gives a 90 percent efficiency it's a stimulus action of hammer and a bell that's why the radio frequency amplifier for high amplification for megahertz one megahertz it's used for that so we will generate the v out the v base and v in this one is v out v base and the v in for circuit now the power load is the v into i v output into i load this is the power load circuit and we calculate the, the average load power and average source power the load power and the source power in order to call calculate the efficiency that's all the efficiency we got from calculating that in the class b amplifier in the class b amplifier we have input connected to the Darlington pair this is the tickle without tickle circuit this one is the load and we have V plus now with the tickle bias this is the circuit we added over here this is called a tickle bias and capacitance now before tickle bias we give uh, we calculate the harmonic distortion for nine harmonics it's a gradually decreasing sine wave so we found the point is 1.1408 and after tickle for same we get a V output for nine sine waves it's 4.7 For the class C, the efficiency open a new directory and schematic line. We make a new schematic for the class C. We create a new project. Now, this will open a schematic class C. Okay. We do all the grounds. Add the components. Sign in. Okay. Add the biasing voltages. These are perfect for the biasing for this two. Capacitance. Where to add what we get this for tank circuits. Bipolar dimension transistors. Ah. Range in proper order. Input capacitor and do as per shown in, in the presentation we're gonna make the circuit for the class C amplifier 
the master circuit is leaky leakage circuit and we have R leak resistance can capacitance and clamp connected to the base of the transistor that circuit for the V out as the R and load resistance take out from the collector of the circuit This is V bias. Let's see tank circuit. Give the bias in VCC. Make sure all the connections are okay. The input will be the three volt amplitude sine wave, twenty two point kilo five kilohertz. We're giving three volt. As the input parameter for supply clamping circuit V clamp 0.1 microfarad. Net alias V input. This is all for the input graph. <coughs> Place the value. Twenty volt DC biasing supply for a tank circuit. Point five megahertz tank circuit.
this one is the circuit for the output now based on new simulation class C now we're gonna analyze the efficiency for this circuit we go one time from uh, 150 microsecond and the maximum step side so make a 150 nanosecond apply to the circuit run the simulation we generate a graph between the time and the voltage now we want to find the efficiency so we will find the v output that's the output of the circuit now add the input that's a v from the base V output multiplied by load resistance RL. This will give us the power at the load. Not the power at the load. Now we know we want to find the power at the source. So we CC V into V input of I. That's uh, power at the source. Finding the average power load we will find the average source power. So difference of the average load power and source power is the efficiency. So from this graph we can calculate the efficiency if we divide the load power by source power. Second part of the advanced activity we will analyze the harmonic distortion after and before takeoff circuit. Now this is the class B amplifier as shown in the figure. Now we're gonna analyze analyze the harmonic distortion in that. Edit the simulation profile. Change the run time. Run time 10 and the maximum step size 10 micro. Now, in the output for perform Fourier analysis, we give it the nine harmonics. Center frequency will make 1k, and nine harmonics for and output variable will be the the variable of the emitter. So V out the net alias we gave it. Now run the simulation. This will generate an output file in the B spice. It's running 100%. Now open the output file. This is the output harmonic file. This is the harmonic distortion without tickle, it's 1.14. That's without tickling circuit for the class B amplifier. Tickle bias without. same thing we're gonna do over here this is the tickle circuit for class B generate an harmonic distortion running that's the harmonic distortion for the with tickle 
circle